Parade. 15 minutes of music in the modern manner, sweet and slow, light and bright. Produced for your entertainment by the Director of Public Relations of the Australian Army, featuring Lottie Wilson and the Hammond organ, backed by the On Parade Quintet. This week, we'd like to say a few words on the subject of ammunition souvenirs. If you have any of these and they happen to go off, there'll be no two ways about it. Somebody will be hurt. If you love life, leave ammunition alone. Laurie and the quintet have a number, so they tell me, which is quite appropriate. Love me or leave me. here I'd like to have a word with the parents. Please, mums and dads, warn the children of the grave dangers associated with the handling of ammunition souvenirs and point out to them that the older live ammunition becomes, the more likely it is to explode when touched. Often souvenirs reported are so dangerous that army experts trained in the handling of explosives have decided to destroy them on the spot rather than remove them for disposal. Those who tamper may not live to see another night, let alone the one I've been asked to sing about. The night is young and you're so beautiful here among the shadows beautiful lady open your sing of it why don't you get in the swing of it lady when do we start when the lady is kissable and the evening is cool and he Oh 
During 1956, from January to August, 21,000, yes, 21,400 ammunition souvenirs and finds were recovered and disposed of by the army. Most people were appalled when told of the killing power of their harmless souvenirs. Some had military and aerial practice bombs, not realizing that the small detonators alone were capable of blinding and blowing off fingers and hands. Believe it or not, one unusual find was made by a boy fishing at Manley who caught an octopus, which had clasped in one of its tentacles a hand grenade. Fortunately for both the boy and the octopus, it didn't go off. Talking of unusual things, though, here's an unusual title. Low Man on a Totem Pole, as played by Bruce Clark on guitar. On unusual finds, a man while trying to clean out a blocked drain with a hose pulled out a mortar bomb hooked to the nozzle. Two live 12-inch naval shells were recovered from a used car lot in Sydney and someone had tried to drill a hole in the casing of one of them. Unfortunately, people who think they have lethal souvenirs often throw them away to the dangers of others instead of notifying the nearest army installation or police station. Now, this should be your first action. Notify the army or the police. Our quintet asks, should I? And our answer is yes. <laughs>
make your motto with ammunition souvenirs, tell, don't touch, and you'll be much safer. And now this is Jim Berenson saying cheerio until the same time next week when this program, produced by the Directorate of Public Relations of the Australian Army, is again on parade.